Now let's review how to configure another type of alert, the user notification type, which creates custom emails to display specific document information for multiple documents that could have failed in our workflow. To do this, we need to add the notify shape to our process. The notify shape builds custom execution logs and or sends customized uh, notification messages to your subscribed email alerts or RSS feed. The notifications are either static messages or include dynamic content by using input parameters. When a process has a notify shape, it creates one or more notifications for each process execution at the document level. This means you do not receive a separate notification for each document that passes through the process. So if you're using a dynamic document level content within the notification, the data is grouped into a single message and sent to the user's email or RSS feed after the process completion. Using the notify shape within a process does not change your data. It's designed to read in any relevant document fields or properties, then pass along the document to the next shape, untouched. Here's an example of the user notification alert triggered from a notify shape. All right, I'm going to demo exercise 10. Just to recap, we're going to configure a notify shape. So we're going to use the notify shape to build custom execution logs and or to send customized notification messages to an email alert subscription or RSS feed. So in this exercise, we're creating a user-defined email event um, for each failed document and, we're, and continue to log the process execution as it fails. So the first thing we're going to do is if you go to your welcome tab, we're going to go to open a recent item. And under processes, we're going to choose our prospect tracking. Once we're there, we are going to open our exception shape. So you can double click on it. And we're going to change some of the things about the exception shape. So the title is going to stay old account record. Um, the message is going to change to reflect the same thing as the title. So it's going to be old account record. Perfect. And what we're going to be doing is deleting the two parameters or variables that we set below. So what I did is I just clicked on each one of them and then clicked on delete parameter. Next, we're going to click OK. And now we're going to detach the false path from the exception shape. After we've done that, we're going to add a notify shape to our process canvas. And for our notify shape, the title is going to be old account record. The message level, we want to be error. The message itself, we want to read as the ID one, ID squiggle bracket one, name squiggle bracket two. After that, we're going to hit enter. And you're going to see at the bottom, we want to um, check enable events under options, but we're going to leave enable user log and write once per execution. Those are going to leave, remain unchecked. So when configuring the notify shape, the message level, so the information, uh, the warning or the error must la match the log level in the email alert subscription. And if the uh, enable events is checked, the notification is going to be sent to the destination for all the configured event options. Now we're going to add parameters. First one is going to be a profile element. It's going to be XML. We're going to choose our Salesforce account query response. And we're referencing ID. OK. So again, the squiggle bracket one is matching. So we're pulling from our, our XML response profile. We're pulling the ID. And so we're going to do another one that we're going to pull the name for. Profile element, XML. Salesforce account query response, and we're pulling out the name. So we can hit OK, and both of the parameters would have been set in the notify shape. So now what we're going to do is we're going to connect the false path to the notify shape, the notify shape to the exception shape. And once we've done that, we're going to run the process in test mode. So save, we're going to run in test.
So what we can see is that the notify shape executes successfully before the exception. So the notify shape creates a notification and allows the documents to pass through without affecting the document structure. So we're going to exit test mode. Um, since we've made a revision to our process, we've added a notify shape, we're going to have to update our revision history. So one, we're going to have to go to the deploy tab and we're going to have to deploy the latest revision of this process. So we're going to go up to Deploy, Prospect Tracking. We're going to have to deploy our latest revision of the process. And in our deployment notes, we added a Notify shape. So Added, Notify, and then click OK. Now you can see version 3, we added the Notify shape. Next thing we can go, we can do the Manage Process Reporting manually execute the process again the process prospect tracking is started so i ran a manual execution at the same time it was running a scheduled execution so i got a different error message that the process was already running uh, but if we're looking at the one that ran on a schedule uh, you can see the error message was old account record and that was what we set up in our notify shape. So we can click on the timestamp. Uh, we can look at the logs themselves. And you're going to see, you're going to see now that we have the um, same exception shape error we had before, but we also have the notify shape telling us that it was an old account record of this account ID. All right, that completes exercise 10. So it's your turn to now complete exercise 10, configuring a notify shape.